So you need to make some space on that small internal hard drive for a new game that you just bought. Well, stick around and I will show you how to move games and apps from your internal hard drive over to your external hard drive. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience. As you're well aware, Xbox has graced us with a one terabyte hard drive space. It's, it's, it's really not a lot. And with game files the size of, you know, Call of Duty, where you're looking over 150 gigabytes for one game, uh, you know, your hard drive is gonna fill up very quickly. So what can you do in this situation where you wanna add a new game, but your hard drive is already uh, pretty full or already is full and you need to make some space and you really don't wanna go out and buy a new $220 Seagate expansion card. Uh, you really just kinda wanna get some games and moving on there, but you also don't want to delete any of your games. You don't want to just get rid of it. So what can you do? Well, you have two different options and we'll cover those right now. And now the first option you have is to, well, actually go ahead and delete the game. Now you don't necessarily lose ownership of that game or anything like that, but if you delete the game, you're going to remove the game off of your hard drive space and you basically can just save that game in the Xbox cloud. And whenever you want, you can just re-download that game. However, you're going to be re-downloading that from the cloud, which is going to take a decent amount of time whenever you're ready to start playing it. So you really have to do some planning ahead if you think you wanna play that game another time. Or you can use the second option, which is the option we're going to show you in a few minutes and how to do. And that is going to be moving games from your internal hard drive over to an external hard drive. And the good thing about this is, this is going to be a lot faster of an option than storing the game in the Xbox cloud and then re-downloading that online. You're only going to be re-downloading it or AKA transferring it back from your external hard drive to your internal hard drive whenever you're ready to do so. So let's go ahead and jump into that Xbox and I'll show you the quick steps to getting your games from the internal over to the external. Also, make sure you stick around to the end of this video where I'll give you a quick couple little tips about why you should use an external hard drive. All right, guys, and so as you can see, we are in the Xbox system now, and I wanted to let you know there are two different ways that you can get to the process of moving your games from the internal to the external hard drive. So we'll go over those two options right now, and then once we get to the main part of that, then that will be the same steps, and I'll show you those at the end of those two options. So the first way that you can do this is simply by going Going into your settings and then you'll want to be down here on system and then over to storage devices and that'll bring up this menu here which we'll see again in one second the other option is by going down to your my games and apps and then just scrolling down to manage and then over to storage devices as well and here we are at the same screen again so once you're at this screen you're going to select your internal storage drive because that's where we're trying to move the games from in this case and we're going to select that and then we want to go down to move or copy. Now, you could simply select all if you wanted to get rid of all of the games from your internal hard drive and put them all over to your external. You could do that, um, but in this case, we're just gonna select a couple of different games that I would like to remove off of my internal hard drive. So let's pick this one here, let's pick this one and this one here. Now, again, guys, you will see an option for copy. We do not want to copy the games because that's going to leave them on the internal hard drive and then just copy it over to your external as well. So make sure that you actually hit move selected. Once you hit that, it'll bring up this screen here, which is going to tell you which storage drive you're going to move it to. Now, if you happen to have a couple external hard drives uh, attached to your Xbox Series X, then, um, then you can move that you know to whichever external hard drive you wanted to this is the only one i have so i'm going to select move now and that brings you up to the queue in which you can see that the game is now transferring off of my internal hard drive now guys also i wanted to mention if you're watching this and you're wondering how to do this maybe you're on your xbox one still you can do these exact same steps uh, from your Xbox One over, um, as you can on the Xbox Series X. All right, and so if you found this tutorial helpful, guys, please make sure you leave a thumbs up for me. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave those in the comments below. Now, as I mentioned, I am gonna give you a couple quick little tips uh, about using the external hard drive and why you should even use that in the first place. So the first quick tip is if you already had an external hard drive that you were using with your Xbox One, all you have to do is simply unplug that from your Xbox One, plug it directly into your Xbox Series X and it should be plug and play. All of your games that you had on there are already going to be there 
And so if you want to move you know, any of those games over to your internal hard drive, you can do that. Or if you want to move, obviously, any games from your internal over to that external, you can do that. Uh, the nice thing about that, obviously, is you're not going out spending even more money. If it's something you already have, you can do that. And kind of going on that same theme, the second quick tip is going to be if you have any uh, Xbox One or Xbox 360 game that you've already installed on your Xbox Series X and you didn't know about this option, uh, you actually can play those particular game, Xbox One and 360 games, directly from your external hard drive. So you can take all of those games, get them off that internal hard drive, move them over there and save yourself some space. Yes, there are some benefits to having them directly on the Xbox Series X, but you know, I mean, if you're really needing the space, I think this is a better option. And you're still gonna get some sorts of, you know, benefits and upgrades, even though you're using it on an external, they're just not gonna be uh, nearly as great for you guys. So I would really suggest just leaving your Xbox Series X specifically for uh, Xbox Series X games, you know, unless you have the space, you know, I would just get rid of all of those older games, put them on your external hard drive and save the space because the new games are going to be large and you're going to need that space pretty quickly. And guys, if you have an Xbox One and you want to transfer those games over from the Xbox One to your Xbox Series X, but you don't have an external hard drive to do that with, uh, then check out the video that's on the screen now and that will give you some tips on how to do that. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.